dreams. One of the most fascinating aspects of life. When you go to sleep, you are taken away sometimes to a place that makes you very happy. And sometimes you're being chased by lions and tigers and bears, oh my. And every single night we have different types of dreams. Sometimes we have dreams that are scary. And sometimes we have dreams that make us um, very happy, very emotional, and, and also make us very optimistic of some of the things that are happening in life. And other times we have dreams that we don't know um, what they mean. They're just weird dreams. So how do you know and what kind of dreams these are and what is the ruling on dreams in Islam? Well, there are three types of dreams. First are the dreams that are from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These are called ru'a, the, the singular of it, ru'ya. And the other type are known as ahlam. These are dreams that, or what we call nightmares. Like sometimes you wake up and you're sweaty and you're scared and you see something happening to you in life. And sometimes we have dreams that, you know, they, that don't make sense or they're just regular things that happen in, in our life. And so there are three types of dreams. You have one from Allah and the dreams, the ahlam, the ru'ya is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the ahlam are the ones who are, are the, your nightmares. Those are from the shaitan. Those are the ones that scare you. And you have subconscious thoughts that you have uh, every, single day, every single night you go to sleep. As for the dreams that are from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you should not tell anyone except for those whom you love. And that, uh, the example of that is in the story of Prophet Yusuf alayhi salam. When Prophet Yusuf alayhi salam saw the dream of the sun and the moon and the stars prostrating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who did he go to? He went to his beloved father someone whom he trusted, someone who was a prophet and, mess and prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he asked him and he already informed him of, his, uh, of the dream. And so you only tell dreams, uh, good dreams, to those whom you love. You don't tell it to everybody. So let's say, for example, you see the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in your dream. You don't go out in front of other people and say, oh, you know, everybody, you know, I just saw the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he, he, he said this to me and did this and did that. Tell only those whom you love when you have a good dream. And when you have nightmares, do not tell anyone. In fact, seek refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from those nightmares. Seek refuge from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from those nightmares. And uh, inshallah you'll be safe from it. And you don't tell anyone. You don't tell anyone. For, so for example, if you had a nightmare that, or you had some, something happen in your dream, you, you saw that you were in an accident, First and foremost, as I mentioned, seek refuge in Allah. Secondly, don't tell anyone. Uh, thirdly, do not act upon those dreams, meaning do not uh, stay at home because you saw that nightmare. That's what the shaitan wants from you. He wants you to, he wants to mess up your, uh, your day and he, mess, he wants to mess up your life. And so that's why when you see a nightmare, don't get, be paralyzed by it. And now seek refuge and just do what you, you would normally do. If you were going to go to work the next day, then continue to go to work and seek refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But if you have um, dreams that, are, uh, that you might you know, see and you might not understand, then seek someone who is able to interpret dreams and maybe they'll be able to interpret that dream for you if you don't understand. And some dreams are self-explanatory. You don't need to have someone interpret for example you um, you you might see a dream that hey this I, th I think this indicates that I'm gonna marry so and so uh, and maybe inshallah uh, maybe that's what it means and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best but sometimes we see dreams um, that don't make any sense they're just things that we see in a normal basis and so you don't have those those are just uh, subconscious thoughts and how do you know what the difference is well, there are certain indicators that these dreams are from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and or whether these are, are nightmares. Well, nightmares are the ones that scare you. But the type of fear that it instills in you is just nonsense or it's just gruesome. 
and there's it's not a fear where you okay you wake up and you're you're afraid so you start praying no the shaitan would never put fear in your heart, heart to the point where and he's reminding you of the hereafter so he won't show you like the hellfire so that you would start praying you know he'll show you something gruesome and scare you in a way just to um, you know just to bother you but how do you know if a dream is from Allah well there are certain indicators well sometimes they most of the time they happen in the last third of the night those are the dreams that are from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and these dreams are very vivid because most dreams you wake up and you forget you know that you had a long dream but then all of a sudden you've forgotten and so those dreams are just your sub subconscious thoughts that you forget you forget quickly and you wake up and you've already forgotten what you saw but the dreams are vivid that you remember and that you know they feel as, they, as if they're significant and these are generally the dreams uh, that are from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so during the time, in the story of Prophet Yusuf alayhi salam, the king, the king saw a dream. And of course, the Pro Prophet Yusuf alayhi salam was living in a non-Muslim country. So it indicates that dreams are indicators in all societies. And actually people know the significance of dreams and so forth uh, in, in society. And so when the, the king saw the dream about the cow and the stocks of grain and so forth uh, these were indicators also but and so the lesson here that we get if you see a dream and it's a good dream tell those whom you love and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to, to, ble to bless uh, in whatever endeavor that it is you're working on and if you see a nightmare then don't tell anyone at all seek refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and go on with your life